Hey riding superstars, today I'm going to answer the question, why do you lunge a horse? So I've got Proteol ready to lunge. Um, I use a lunging system just because I like the shape it puts the horses in. Um, and so to answer that question, why do you lunge a horse, there's a million different reasons and um, you may or may not use a lunging system depending on the reason. So um, I've broken in more than 100 horses and sometimes we uh, you lunge them before we get on um, because they can be a bit cold backed, they can be a bit humpy, they can just be you know, not super, super happy and the last thing you want to do is put your weight on there as well and then they learn to buck you off and, and do that. So we lunge them before we get on just to get a feel of you know are they happy with the saddle, are they happy with everything. Um, it's also good I bought Gretchy as a three and a half year old and we lunged her for a couple of months when she first came as well just to make sure you know how is she, is she happy in a new environment, is she um, hot is she you know so the rider can get a feel of what they can expect on the horse sometimes on the ground my grand prix stallion Scary to lunge, just bolts off, bucks, bronx, is crazy. You get on him and he's a tiny little lamb. So the, how they are on the lunge isn't always reflective of how they are under saddle, but it is interesting, you know, it's, it's a tool that you can use. Um, some people use lunging uh, to exercise their horse. I, um, obviously if I'm here, I, do, I never lunge if I can ride because I just find it easier to ride. You've got to put the same amount of gear on. Uh, but um, some people, if I'm away, then I might ask the girls to lunge the horse. Um, I'll use a lunging system in that case because I want the horse to go in the correct shape. Um, we always want the hind legs to, a dressage horse or a horse comes out with its hind legs out the front and heavy on the forehand. That's how they, they, they come out. And our job to make them dressage horses is to get the hind legs under, the back up, the shoulders really free and for them to look more like a ball. The shape is more like a ball rather than a long rectangle. And I feel the lunging system helps them do that and lift their back in for them to use the correct muscles. So then when I get back on, they're, they're where they need to be. Another reason people lunge is um, to teach a young horse to go into the contact. So if you're using this lunging system in that regard, um, you have to be super, super careful because if a horse hasn't learnt to go into a contact um, and you put a system on like this on them, they might run backwards, they might rear, um, they might, you know, get into trouble. So it's really, really important if you're using a lunging system that you know what you're doing and you've got a coach that can help you um, because otherwise you can get into trouble. The the rules with lunging is, you know, that they have to go forward. You never want them to think backwards because then, you know, bad things can happen. So that's why we lunge and um, I look out for part two and that will be how do you lunge? If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you want to leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helped. If you would like some more dressage help, I have a completely free ultimate seat package, which is filled with videos, training plans, a 30 day training plan, uh, bonus videos, and bonus explanations of what you need to do in your training for the next 30 days. I would love to give that to you for free. Just click on the link below and check that out. And remember, live your dreams.